What if I told you that your brain confidently remembers things that never happened? I'm a brain scientist and I will run a false memory test on you in just a second. But first, why can your brain lie to you so convincingly? And why is that totally normal? This is so normal, in fact, that there is even lost in the mall experiments that are classics in psychology. In these experiments, 25 to 35% of people can be convinced that they were separated from their parent in a mall in their childhood consistently. This happens all the time. They even add vivid details that never happened. Other labs have implanted full crime memories in 70% of volunteers just by using suggestive interviewing. Scary, right? Most people think that their memories are stored as perfect recordings, but that's not how it works. Every memory is more like a Wikipedia page. It's editable by anyone, including you. Every time you remember something, you are rewriting that memory and you fill in any gaps with guesses or suggestions. This is why false memories are shockingly normal. They're not flaws, they're features. It's your brain's creative way of keeping your life story coherent. All right, here's the false memory test. I'm gonna read a quick word list and then you try to remember them. Pillow, dream, night, Blanket, nap, rest, snooze, doze, snore, yawn. Got him? Do you smell popcorn? Like right now, do you smell popcorn? All right, that was a pattern interrupt. Now, was the word sleep on the list I read? If you swear that it was, congratulations. You just built a textbook false memory. See how easy that was? Your brain is a master storyteller and it just forgets sometimes to label it as fiction. Shares with a friend who is sure that you borrowed their hoodie in sixth grade and follow for more brain tests.